In the movie Guardians of the Galaxy, Groot and Rocket the raccoon are already partners in crime. It calls itself Rocket, the result of illegal genetic and cybernetic experiments on a lower life form. What the hell? They call it Groot, a humanoid plant that's been traveling recently as 89P13's personal houseplant slash muscle. But how did they first get together? Well, it all started on Groot's homeworld. When Groot was younger, he lived on a planet full of other Groots. He was learning how to fight and the ways of his people. But he came from a long, proud line of Groots, spanning back billions and billions of years, all sprouted from the same single seed, the world pot. when Ronan the Accuser attacked the planet. This is Ronan the Accuser. You will surrender or face annihilation. I am Groot. Ronan wanted the planet's minerals and resources, but the Groots weren't about to hand over their homeworld, so they said no. And in response, Ronan burnt the entire surface of the planet, killing everyone except for the group we all know, who had gone back to protect the world pod which had spawned his entire species, and was saved from the flames because of this. Unfortunately, the world pod still ended up being destroyed, but Groot realised that so long as he lived on, the world pod and his entire species would continue to live on within him. I am Groot! He was then captured by the Ravagers. What is that? I don't know. But let's grab it and get out of here before Ronan finds us. Who then sold him to a research facility along with a family of raccoons. One of these raccoons was to be selected for an experiment. Subject 89 P13, undersized with below average strength, yet demonstrates courage and elevated aggression. The raccoon was then enhanced through surgery and conditioning and became a sentient and intelligent life form who was trained in all forms of weaponry. My name is Subject A! After one particular round of conditioning, the raccoon was put into a cell with windows that let in too much sunlight when he was helped out by a certain someone. Later, when the raccoon was outside in the compound's courtyard, the raccoon recognised Groot and thanked him and saw that he was dangerously dehydrated and in desperate need of water. Since he'd helped him out earlier, the raccoon decided to return the favour and got him some water. You look like you could use a drink, buddy, and I know just where to get it. After Groot had some water in his system, his strength returned and the two trashed the compound and the raccoon used the knowledge that he had gained through his conditioning to free all of the other prisoners held there. The rocket is both a means of propulsion and a weapon! Take hmm. ow, 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 ow. Including the raccoon's family, who no longer recognised him as one of their own. Ma! Guess I'm different now. There ain't no thing like me. The raccoon then decided to take a new name. And I'm Rocket. And we are out of here. And both Groot and Rocket decided to start a partnership together, which is what led to the events of the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Personally, I quite like this origin. It differs from the original comics a little, where Rocket isn't actually a raccoon, but is part of an alien species that looks like raccoons. But since that was changed by the movie anyway, I can live with that. But what do you think of Groot and Rocket's origin? Be sure to let us know in the comments, and as always, thanks for watching, and feel free to subscribe, share, like, and comment.